there's several ways to prevent um, the pathogen from causing disease. Um, and the way that I'm interested in is actually adjusting the landscape of the human body um, to prevent the pathogen from being able to exert damage in the colon in this case or in Amoeba histolytica. So we took um, a discovery-driven approach where we looked at every gene in the human genome in a whole genome library and selected those cells um, that were resistant to um, killing by Entomoeba histolytica. So the strength of our approach in going after host factors rather than parasite factors is that by inhibiting the ability of the parasite to kill the host cell on the host side, it removes any selective pressure from the parasite to evolve resistance. So when we um, got the results back um, from the next gen sequencing that told us which cells were more resistant to intermediate histolytica killing, I was very surprised um, that potassium channels were a heavily overrepresented category um, and we were uh, encouraged because we were actually able to validate the role of potassium channels in intestinal cells to prove that the effect that we saw in the genome-wide screen wasn't due to random chance um, or some artifact. So our challenge um, is identifying ion channels, potassium channels in particular, that are unique um, to the human colon that could be targeted um, to prevent cell killing during amoebiasis. So the most exciting part of uh, my research is that I have the ability to integrate um, data from our clinical trials in Bangladesh and um, access to the state-of-the-art tools at UVA and technologies and wonderful collaborators um, so that I feel like every day our research is directly contributing um, to improving human health.